That's what the driver said. Oh no. Was the driver a spooky skeleton? Skeleton, skeleton. <laughs> Is anyone in a bit of a spooky mood today? Anyone feeling a little scary? Feeling like they want to be scared? Or that they want to uh, poop themselves? Huh? Are you feeling like that? Well, have I got the right thing for you? Apparently, today I'm going to be reading a creepy story. And I say apparently because I've not seen it yet. But I thought, uh, what what would be a good idea is uh, is to experience it with you. So if you guys haven't seen this before, I know nothing about it. I just saw it was kind of like trending a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit trending. Um, so I know nothing about it, but it's called the creepy school bus text story. And all I, well, I do know something. All I know is that it's two people, a young girl, like a, a girl in ninth grade, I think it said. Um, and someone else texting back and forth uh, about something and uh, and so there's a video of it and uh, I think it's just the text the video is just a text um, and so you guys would know if you've seen my channel before it's kind of like spooky spooky things I've done in the past like like um, the Bendy and the Ink Machine game and stuff that I didn't handle very well I think I'll handle this one fine I'm normally good with these sorts of stories with like text stories that I know aren't gonna jump out at me but anyway, uh, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe before I start watching, or after I start watching, it doesn't really matter, just subscribe when you want. But uh, definitely do that, because uh, there's daily content and it'll be really good. Alright, so the creepy school bus text story. I might be pausing every once in a while if I need to like read it or something. Um, and we're, But we're just going to do our best. So I pressed the button, but it didn't work, so let's do it. Missed you at school today. Been sick in bed all day. How was class? Okay, hang on. Let's just analyze this from the start. Okay, so there's a there's a a girl and a and a dog. A girl and a dog are talking. No, I assume it's someone else, but and so they go to the same school. So how was class? Okay, sixth grade sucks so much, but twenty minutes and I'm done. Well, okay, so she's in sixth grade. We know that now because she said it to the audience. Twenty minutes and she's done. Okay. Watch out. No, wait. That's just... He's just saying, like, watch out for... What, what are you... What What are we watching out for? For the creepy school bus. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's so fake. Yeah, yeah. High five, girl. No, I'm not joking. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll watch out. Oh, you know what? She's not going to watch out, I bet. I bet you... I bet you that this story is going to go through and we're going to find out that she didn't actually watch out for it. She's going to do something dumb. Because most horror movies, they put, they make sure the protagonist is dumb and does dumb things. Which is why the good horror movies, which I don't like, I don't like horror movies anyway. But the, the good ones, they make the protagonist smart. So then you're extra scared because you're like, even though he's smart, he's still not quite getting away with it. He or she, sorry. Uh, which is why I liked Get Out. I know Get Out is a very uh, adult movie, so if you're... Not over 18, I don't suggest watching it, but it is a very good horror movie. Alright, anyway. Okay, I'll watch out. Okay, she's gonna watch out. I'm serious, Chloe. I've seen one driving around this past week. How do you know if it's a creepy school bus? Question mark? Like, how, what, how do you know if it's creepy? This bus, it's smaller than the normal bus. Okay, well, that makes sense. He answered my question. I started driving around near school, but no one else, no one's ever in it. Okay, maybe it's just like a bad bus. Like a ghost bus, lol. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, there are there are never kids in it. So there's adults in it? <laughs> um, but, okay, so what if it's just an unsuccessful bus? This poor guy who rides drives this bus, you're just trying to creep me out before I get the bus home. Ooh. No, I swear, the window on the back had a crack in it too. It just gave me a real creepy feeling. Oh man. <laughs> She's angry. She is angry. Alright. What? She says. Langley caught me texting in class and started yelling I did my homework. Wait. Let me just start this again. Langley caught me texting in class then started yelling I did my homework wrong. Those things aren't connected. If she she should have yelled at you for texting in class or for doing your homework wrong, not catching you do one thing and yell at you for the other. That's 
crazy. You're a crazy person. She made me stay late and redo two pages. Wait, what? Hang on. Let's just go back a bit. Okay. She texted the... You, you can see... Oh, you can't really see because my webcam's covering it. But this was this message was sent at 2.26 and this one was 3.02. So this is half an hour later. Okay? That's why she didn't just send an angry thing. So you have to follow the timestamps. So, Lang Lang Kwame yelling, I did my homework wrong. Okay. Uh, she made me stay late and redo two pages. I, I don't think teachers are allowed to do that. Right? They're not supposed to, like, just keep kids past school when school's done. I hate her. Okay. She is evil. Ha ha ha. Even worse, I missed the bus home. She's gonna take the spooky bus. There's gonna be a, she's gonna get on this creepy school bus. So that's not gonna be good. It left without you? Well, yeah, she was half an hour late. I know, right? I called my mum and she got so angry at me, told me to figure it out as she's at work. Oh, well, okay. Just, all right, okay, fine. So she's angry, or he or she's angry. Did you know a girl went missing last week? There are flies everywhere. Okay, so she went missing because she got on the bus, I assume. What girl? Oh, have you seen Alison Willett? Wait, I'm going to read that. Alison Willett was last seen on Wednesday walking home along Highland Park. Okay, so I assume she was walking home and the bus was there. She was like, I'll take the bus home. And then the bus took her away to somewhere, to somewhere spooky. OMG, that's so scared, sad and scary. Hmm. Any chance your dad can pick me up? Mmm, yeah. I can ask him. Yes, good. I like that. I like that's pretty realistic. Hold up, there's a bus coming. No, 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 no. Don't get on the bus. Don't get on that bus. That bus is gonna be creepy. I'm on it. Oh, no. Confused. You said it left without you? Oh, no. Yeah, I'm on the backup bus. Wait. Okay, I can hear, you probably, you guys might not be able to hear it because it might be very, too quiet for the video. But there's very subtle bus sounds going on when she's on the bus. You can hear like a, do 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 Like, like the, uh, tires going around, you can hear it very slightly. Backup bus? That's what the driver said. Oh no. Was the driver a spooky skeleton? 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 He said he picks up kids who miss the first bus and need to get home. Smaller than a normal bus? Cracked back window? Yeah? Okay, well, they told you about this just before. Don't tell me you forgot already. Jeez. That's the creepy bus! <laughs> ha ha. I know this is another one of your scary creepy pastas. Okay, if you guys don't know what a creepypasta is, basically there's like these horror stories that people, uh, they like, they basically copy and paste them to each other. And so it was, since they copy paste, when you copy paste something, uh, like something over and over again, it's called a copy paste pasta, because it's copy paste, copy pasta. Uh, and so when it's a scary one, it's called a creepy pasta. So that's uh, that's just a little little fact for you guys that don't know that. I know probably a lot of you do, but just in case. Anyway, are you on your own? Yes, she is on her own. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Spooky, spooky. It's going really fast now. Oh no! It's going back in time. And the driver is staring. Staring. Wait. What? Staring at you? Because he should be driving. He's staring at me in the mirror. I'm a little creeped out, but probably because you told me that story. What? He should be looking at the road. OMG, I just asked my dad to call the school. Okay. For what? Dun, dun. They don't have a backup bus. Dun, dun. Uh, quit joking. Oh. Get off that bus! Ooh! I dropped my phone. Not funny. Please tell me you're playing with me. Uh, no, I am not. The driver says he's not allowed to drop me off at a random place, only at my stop. OMG, he started screaming at me to sit back down. SIT BACK DOWN! He's asking if I have a phone. Oh no, don't give him your phone. 
I'm hiding it so we can't see, but we're not going towards home. He says we're picking someone else up. My dad wants you to wants to speak to you. He's freaking out. Ooh, can't talk on phone. Well, yeah, that makes sense. You can't talk on the phone because he's looking at me. He yelled at me and pointed to a no phone sign. He's screaming at me for my phone. <laughs> Wait, he's he's going. Good, like, don't use your phone. Don't use your phone. You better not be using your phone. And she's like, oh, 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 what do I do? Like, you can. He would clearly be able to see her texting. This is Erica's dad. Where are you right now? Okay, Erica, it's a girl. The dog picture is a girl. At far back of bus. I've called 911. Listen carefully. You're not on a real school bus. What street are you on? Please tell me she can see what street she's on. Highland Park Avenue. Okay, good. Good. Well, it's everything's gonna be okay. Keep texting me where you are. Okay? Yep, do that. Follow that. Acorn Street. Alright. The police will be there soon. Don't do anything to make him suspicious. Keep texting where you are. I think he knows I'm texting. Okay. Tell police to hurry. I'm sure they are hurrying. <laughs> I, I know you're just saying that because you're scared, but don't stop texting where you are. Don't know name of road. That's, yeah, that's, I mean, I wouldn't either. Turned again and bus in long tunnel. All right, long tunnel. Tunnel. Hmm. Big doors opened and bus went into tunnel like the Bat Cave, going down like we're underground. Huh. All right. A little strange. So dark outside, can't see anything. Hmm. Maybe it is the Bat Cave. Bus slowing down. All right. Don't do whatever you can to escape. Use your phone as a weapon. Use your f phone as a weapon? Oh, throw it at him if he comes close and run. Do whatever you can to get away from him. What? I don't think that's a good idea. I, I really don't think that's a good idea. Okay, but anyway. Just keep, keep on going. Lots of other bosses here. Okay, yeah, it's okay. You're fine. He got out and walked away. Get out! Run! Get out of there now! Run! Tell me what you see. Is there an emergency exit? Hmm. There are more kids here. Ooh, okay, those might be the missing kids from before in the other bosses. Yeah, they're probably the missing kids from before. Is there like one kid in each bus or is it like a bunch of kids in a few buses? Each in a bus. There we go. It, she answered my question. It's like she can hear me. That'd be so creepy if she were it. I can hear you. Uh, I, I can see about 12 buses, but there's probably more. I tried the emergency exit, but it won't open. Keep describing. Police will be there soon. Hmm. Lots of buses back to back and side to side, like Tetris, all jammed tight next to each other. Okay. All right. Interesting. Interesting. The kids in nearest buses are shouting. Furthest away, all look asleep. Oh, no, they're probably not asleep. They are probably not asleep. OMG, I think they're dead. That's what I thought. Oh no. OMG, the missing girl from the flyer is on the next is in the next bus. That's what I thought as well. She's just staring at me. Oh, she's staring at you. That's kind of weird. All the buses are like cages. It's like a prison for kids. That's a waste of buses. Just get some cages. Please help me. Please, 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 please. <laughs> Ooh, phone about to die. Oh no. The oh no. Police have been unable to locate Chloe Jones. Chloe Jones was last seen on Wednesday, May 3rd, blah blah blah. Each day in the United States, over 2,000 children are reported missing. This fact is not a creepy creepypasta. Mm hmm. Mm hmm Okay. Wow. Well, it, uh... Oh, okay. So, basically, from what we know, uh, the girl got on the bus after school 
And uh, so she, wait, the girl got on the bus after school. It was a backup bus, took her away, said no phones. She texted basically until her phone died. So they went down into a cave and went down underground, drove underground, and then there was a bunch of other buses, all with a kid inside each bus. Thing is, that is a lot of buses you have to buy to kidnap that many kids. And the motive... I wonder what the motive would be. Would why, why would the person kidnap... Or the people... I guess these ghosts, maybe, kidnap the kids? Why would they do it? We don't know. It's just all left a mystery. What do you guys think happened? Let me know what you guys think happened. Uh, and... Let me know every everything you everything you want to know and uh, if you like this type of video Let me know down in the comment section below as well and uh, also make sure to uh, like and subscribe For daily content every single day there is a new video and if you like the video it really helps me out really helps this channel grow and uh, And it just it just supports me and supporting me is the, is the best thing that you guys can do uh, to help me out and uh and yeah, so that should be about it. Oh, also make sure to go to my Hello Juniper page, link in the description below, and earn yourself some gent points. Uh, so thanks for watching, love you guys so much, have a great day, goodbye. Mwah.